actually and this module is linked with the previous module it is continuation of that module in this module we will further elaborate the two factors physiological and socio cultural which lead to different choices of intonation pattern some phoneticians so phoneticians are those scholars researchers which relate with the field of phonetics which study physical properties of speech sounds so they are phoneticians they think that difference in pitch of men and women lies in anatomy of voice box the projected area if you see below your chin there is a projected area especially it is visible in males and it is almost uh, invisible in females it this area has a box like structure bony structure we call it larynx in technical language and in simple language we call it voice box air that comes out of lungs passes through this voice box voice box has vocal folds now inside this voice box air touches with the vocal cords sometimes vocal cords block the air they close the passage of the air sometimes air passes through them and they vibrate and sometimes the vocal cords are vocal folds they are wide apart so they are flexible they can adopt different uh, forms or shape see uh, this is a visual of these vocal folds so the figure that you see on the right side it shows the vocal cords are closed and the figure on left side shows they are wide apart the white area that you see uh, like a rectangular it shows the open uh, vocal cords the interaction between the air and vocal cords create different speech sound now the way vocal fo vocal cords interact with the passing air it results in production of different speech sounds if we talk about english for example so it results in production of different types of uh, you say consonants and vowels etc the volume of sound and pitch quality depend on the size of vocal fold this is the important thing for which we need uh for which we uh, have discussed uh, the voice box and some part of its structure pitch quality depends on the size of the vocal fold it means the size differs uh, among men and women this physiology defines different possible pitch ranges for men and women because the size is different so the range of pitch variation would be different for men and women the vocal cords in men are thicker and larger than women because they are thicker their movement will be slow and slow movement will result in low pitch and on the other hand women's vocal folds they are thin and slim and they move quickly they create high pitch and shrilled voice we can see this difference in pitch if we want to practically 
and know about this difference in pitch. You can see when uh, a when uh, some male person enters puberty, there is change in voice of the male, and that change shows a kind of uh, pitch variation. Before puberty, this is very difficult to differentiate the uh, pitch of male and female. But uh, when we enter puberty, there is visible, observable change in pitch. Our voice becomes, uh, you can say, uh, it uh, carries bassness. That is opposite of shrill. And uh, similarly, if you want to see pitch variation practically, another example is when males try to imitate the voice of females or when females try to imitate, copy the voice of males. So, see uh, how they have to change the pitch. A pitch variation, as pitch variation that we also call intonation, do not affect literal meaning of words. If there is change in pitch from rising to low or from low to rising, there is no change in meaning. We already have said this. They are linked with change in social meaning and change in social expectations. Individually, at individual level, at individual speaker level, Men and women can produce a range of patterns, but they make selections according to the context, where they are talking, who is their addressee, what is their communicative goal. So, keeping in view all these situational factors, they would choose a pitch pattern. That's why. We are socialized in culturally desirable pitch patterns for men and women. How men and women should say something in which pitch pattern, in which intonation they would say something, it is socialized. We consciously learn it through interaction during our early stages of life. The same selection of pitch patterns also happens at societal level. First, we talked about at individual level, individual speaker level. It also happens at societal level. For example, speaking pitches of American males are lower than those of European speakers. The societal level difference. In some cultures, High pitched voices are shrill voiced are not liked. They are not seen positively. So that's why you might have heard uh, most often uh, around you people say that uh, don't shout. So they ask you to lower your pitch. So shrill sound that is not. Uh, desirable. We conclude that intonation patterns or pitch differences are cue to speaker's sex. They are linked with gender. The differences, these differences, why they are linked with men and women, these differences are rooted in the physiology, the anatomy of men and women, and number two, the stereotypes about the speech style of men and women.